two of the vaccines, one by Moderna and one by the company Pfizer, have completed trials, and the, eff and the efficacious vaccine efficacy point is extraordinary. With regard to Pfizer, it was 95 percent efficacious, not only against disease that's just clinically recognizable disease, but severe disease. There were 10 cases of severe disease, one in the vaccine, nine in the placebo. For the Moderna trial, it was 94.5 percent efficacious, 11 severe events, zero in the vaccine, 11 in the placebo. For those of you not acquainted with the field of vaccinology, that is extraordinary. That is almost to the level of what we see with measles, which is 98 percent effective. And I hear a lot now when we made these announcements this past Monday and then two Mondays ago about some reticence of people. Well, did you rush this? Was this too fast? Is it really safe? And is it really efficacious? The process of the speed did not compromise at all safety, nor did it compromise scientific integrity. It was a reflection of the extraordinary scientific advances in these types of vaccines, which allowed us to do things in months that actually took years before. So I really want to settle that concern that people have about that. What about the decision of the data? Who looked at the data? Was that some force that was maybe trying to put something over on you? No, it was actually an independent body of people who have no allegiance to anyone, not to the administration, not to me, not to the companies, that looked at the data and deemed it to be sound. Now that data will be examined very carefully by the FDA, who, together with a advisory committee, the Vaccine and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee, or VERPAC, are going to look at that before the FDA makes the decision about putting this forth for an emergency use authorization or ultimately for a license. So we need to put to rest any concept that this was rushed in an inappropriate way. This is really solid.